Alright, hello, this is Taylor Smith, and I am demonstrating my capstone project for the 2017 capstone class um, CIST at University of Pittsburgh at Bradford. Um, I, for my project, did a smart mirror. A smart mirror is pretty much just a mirror with added functionalities, added capabilities. Um, you'd walk into a room and uh, the, the mirror, yeah, sorry, the mirror would be there, but when you'd walk in, it would see you or notice you were there or hear your voice, and date and time would pop up, the weather, any other module anyone has added. Um, I have a terminal up. My project is based um, around Python, uh, <clears throat> sorry, repository made by Hacker House on GitHub. It's open source. Anyone can use it. Um, basically, it's just one line of command. You type it in, and it's ready to go. It has a date time function, a weather function, and a newscast. Um, news source pops up. I did want to add voice recognition, but I was not able to yet. Um, I also have not been able to turn the glass around. Um, Hopefully I'll be able to do that within the next couple days, within the next build. There are some issues you can see, just tiny issues. The monitor is not as big as the frame or the glass. I had some problems with that. Um, I ordered a 24 inch monitor, but I, I ordered a special series of glass. It's called Smart Mirror Glass. And it um, was supposed to be better for the project, but a two-way mirror would have been better. I could have got it for much less money and um, it probably would have worked better, it would have been more reflective. Um, the glass is flipped around. I do have to flip that for the next step of my project and I have to add voice recognition. So right now I'll demonstrate the um, application itself. So right now I I am getting into the Smart Mirror directory. I used Raspbian on a Raspberry Pi. It's a form of Debian, um, specifically made for Raspberry Pis. There are other uh, distributions you can use for, Linux, for a Raspberry Pi with Linux, but Raspbian was the number one source. So you type in, you go to the Smart Mirror directory, you type in Python Smart Mirror. Dot pi. It takes about, oops, takes a few seconds to load, but once it does, it will come up, and I'll hit enter, and it will be full screen. I was going to use the Magic Mirror repository made by Michael Tio, which I talk about in my paper, but um, there it goes. But it unfortunately broke when I tried to update it, and I could not get it working again. So I'm going to get a little bit closer to the mirror. And you can see the weather. It's a little off. I couldn't get the thing to. I couldn't get the repository in the module to center on there. So it's a little bit cut off. But you can see it says Bradford, Pennsylvania, which is where we are. 8:27 p.m. tonight on this Tuesday, and the news. Mostly, it's news about the current state of the country, the world. It does have added features for the world news, but all in all, it's a very, pretty good application. Um, I'm proud of it. I'm proud of the build. I have to thank uh, David and Zachary Ware. David helped me with the Python and Zachary helped me with the building. Um, I didn't have much issue with the building except for, again, the monitor and the glass. Uh, we cut the RON size for the <laughs> the 2x4 for the outside of it, um, but other than that, it turned out very well. Um, I will show the back of this. It is made out of 2x4s. We have the cable up here. It fell moving it. It does weigh 65 pounds, so it is pretty heavy. We have the tether for hanging it up, and 
little compartment for the Raspberry Pi. It's usually tethered in here. Um, again, moving it is very heavy, and we ended up knocking it out of place, but it's still connected, and it did not fall out. Nothing broke, so we're good there. Turn it back around. So next, I'm going to show the uh, Python code. I am SSH'd through my MacBook. The brightness is very bright on this. Sit it down here and I'll let it even itself out. So we'll go into, get zoomed in so you can see it better. Turn the brightness down a little bit. There, that's better. Turn that down and we, I am SSH'd in. So I'll do the same thing on here as I did on the mirror. Go into smart mirror directory. And then I'm going to use a uh, Vim for my text editing in Linux. I usually use Nano, but I found that with this application, Vim works a lot better. So Vim, Python, oops, not Python, smartmirror.py. Oops, I did not spell it right, so to get out of here, go back. All right, so I'll turn syntax on so it's a little more eye-friendly. Bring this down just a little bit more. Okay, syntax on. There. So, we have English. Um, the time format is in 12 hours instead of 24. And the news country code US. Um, here is my weather API token that I talk about in my paper. Getting it ready. That just brings in, uh, knows that it's me. Sets the time for Bradford. Um, connect to the wireless. These are the text sizes you can use. Um, there's different ones you can set for the setup. I changed some of it from large to medium because it just did not want to work. Um, here is all the code for, I think this is, yep, this is weather. The clock. More weather. This is all just the basic setup of how it's um, shown on the module. That's where it's pulling from. FL statements. Um, then there's the news, where to get the headlines. Usually it's run out of Google News, which you can see there. That's where it's being pulled from. And then calendar event. I wanted to add the calendar event hooked up with my phone, but I unfortunately didn't get that far. So... Hopefully in the next build, I will be able to do it. So I'll go back over here. Actually, no, I don't want to look at that yet. One last thing I want to show. So I'll get out of here. Um, SSH in Python do not like to get along. So I can run the same code, or the same, sorry, the same command to get into the mirror and turn it on. But you'll see an error pop up when I try. Because it does not want to work over SSH, which I think is you know, is safe, I guess, but, um, it's not really, I don't know, if you want to, if you want it to be in, like, full screen mode right off the bat, which, not be able to open a terminal, it would be a lot better if it could work over SSH, but, um, I kind of understand why it doesn't, because it is an application. So there's the error that pops up, um, no display environment variable, 
So I'll come back over here and show that it isn't up. Um, but if I put the command back in, it will pop right back up. I guess that takes a few minutes, but it will pop up again. There it goes. Hit enter. And zoom out, not in. We see it working fully functional. So, what's next? I just have to... Get the mirror flipped around and make sure that I get the right size mirror, right size um, monitor to go with it. Um, so that's it for my video demonstration. Um, I want to thank Professor Loki for everything he has done for me in the, over the past two years. I know I came in not as a freshman but as a junior and... You, very, you helped me very much. Thank you very much for everything you've done. All the CIST professors, I could not have made a better choice in my major. And I just want to thank you very much. Um, and that's all I can say. So thank you. And I hope you have a wonderful summer.